Today, I'm gonna to take a look at the Firefox browser for the iPad Pro. Now, I know a lot of people are considering the iPad Pro. Can it replace your computer? Can it not? And so I thought I'd make this video to help people out who might use Firefox on a more traditional computer and are thinking about what Firefox might look like on the iPad Pro. So full disclosure, I'm using a mouse, as you can see here and I'm using a keyboard, um, just a regular Logitech keyboard. And uh, the mouse I'm using is a Logitech MX Master 2S. So let's uh, let's just take a look. So I'll be honest, I'm not super familiar with the iPad Pro version of Firefox, but we can all find out together what are the good things, what are the bad things. So let's see what happens when we click YouTube. We agree. Okay, so it takes me to the YouTube uh, app, which is not what we want actually, because uh, as you can see here, Safari lets you open the uh, normal YouTube website. In fairness, though, Safari does also redirect you. So, for example, in this case, if I just hit YouTube, it will ask me open this page in YouTube, and that's YouTube the app. So they do both do the same annoying thing. Um, well, annoying if you don't want to go to the app. Okay, so if we go to Wikipedia, let's take that as, a, as an example. You can see things look fine, the same as what they should look. <clears throat> okay, so this is one problem we're having already. Okay, Firefox, come on. So as you can see, the header, or the kind of the tab bar disappeared. Okay, it's back now. So I don't know what happened there. Um, okay, not too sure. Okay, so the tab bar disappeared, but it did come back. So if we click here, I think that's like a read only mode. And then bookmarks, you can see your bookmarks here. And you can do sync in, log in, home stuff. So look, like everything else, um, Unfortunately, there is no extensions for the iPad versions of these apps. Uh, what is quite cool with this is you can do block images, which is quite cool actually. Uh, you cannot do that on Chrome, you can't do it on Safari, and you can't do that on Brave. So that's super cool. Uh, enable night mode, just like that, super cool. So it looks like Firefox have really given this some real consideration um, in terms of building this out. And settings wise, it seems very um, straightforward, very pared down. I'm sure it mirrors a lot of what happens on the iOS app uh, that they have for the iPhones. So that looks all good. Okay, so this issue with the header is quite annoying. Um, so what is strange is if you use your finger, it will come back. But if you use the mouse scroll, it struggles a bit. So in terms of replacing your laptop, for me, that's a big, big, um, that's a big con because if you're replacing your laptop, you're probably going to be using a mouse and keyboard uh, if you want to be a little bit more productive. Um, so not for so for this happening is quite annoying. All right, so let's move on. We can check out some other stuff. So new tab here. So okay, that's how tabs are displayed. Okay, not too bad. It has a little icon. I guess this is like private. Yep, private mode. Would you click here? Okay, pretty standard, just like Brave. But, okay, I guess you just have to click back on. That's a bit strange. So once you click here, it goes, it takes this, that number, and then puts it here. Usually the button will just stay here and you can just click in and out. Um, okay. Not, that's fine. This is how you delete. Okay, delete all tabs. New tab works pretty good. So we'll try this website out. That's pretty good. So okay, let's also try our video. So video works. I'll just turn it way down. So you know, the audio does work but we just turn that way down. 
and if we do full screen okay so it doesn't actually do full screen full screen um, I'm gonna say that's more a BBC thing than the actual um, Firefox browser so we will try another video platform so let's try Vimeo you know let's also see if you can try YouTube again so if we go to YouTube again if we do a right click see this is the thing the only app sorry the only browser that has a good right click uh, so far I've seen is Safari so when you go to Safari and you right click so so the page is just loading let me just go back here so when you go to Safari and you right click okay now it's letting me down as well <laughs> what's good okay yeah when you go to Safari and you right click it works completely well okay maybe I was wrong then no, I'm not wrong. So you see, when you right click on the button here, nothing happens really. But on Safari, you right click, you see this nice little thing here. You can open something in the background, which is essentially opening it in a new tab right there. That's super nice. Unfortunately, that doesn't work for Firefox. So if you wanted to, I think you have to, let's see. Hold click, okay, even hold click doesn't work. So hold touch, hold touch doesn't work. Um, oh wait, no, hold click does work, let's see. Or maybe it's just this button that's the problem. Okay, I take everything back. You can right click on the buttons, um, but it's just this button that doesn't. Okay. You can't right click here very strange all right so now it's taking me to YouTube it didn't open the app very strange again um, yeah uh, this is not what I expected okay so let's just pick a video uh, it doesn't start automatically you have to click in and then it will do the ad thing You can skip this. So it does have the mini player. I think this might be for YouTube. So this base this is basically the full version of YouTube, I think. Oh no, it's not. Um, No, it's not. I think the Safari does have a fuller version because look at these tabs. They don't exist. Um, they don't exist on this one. This one's actually a bit funky as well. It's kind of bugging out. Unless it's just this particular thing. So let's try All right, let's try this one. Now, I think what it is, is it's not the full version of YouTube on the Firefox version, which is what I expected. Um, but yeah, I mean, it still works. You can still do full screen. No, you can't. <laughs> your, bro your browser doesn't support full screen. Okay, that's interesting. What about here? Aha. So you see the Safari version does support full screen, whereas the Firefox version does not. So that's, I think the main difference between YouTube on here and there. Now look, all this might be a moot point because you might just think, well, I'll just use the YouTube app. In which case, no problems. Um, but of course the YouTube app does miss a couple of things if you're a YouTube creator. And I know most of you aren't a YouTube creator. So maybe it doesn't matter you guys. So let's move on. The Firefox browser feels a little bit less responsive in terms of scrolling up and down i just want to compare it quickly to the if i just compare it quickly yeah it feels a little bit better on safari not as good on firefox a bit more jerky 
I mean, I guess they were probably thinking people would be swiping like this. Uh, but, you know, it's not too bad anyway. It's usable. It's usable. If you're using a mouse, it is usable. Let me not make out like it isn't. Uh, let's just pick any video. See if it works. Yep, so it works. Can you full screen? No, you cannot. Double tap. Okay, so if you pinch, it will full screen. But there is no full screen button here for some reason. So overall, what would I think about this browser? Overall, it's okay. That's how I would say it. it's okay. It wouldn't be my choice in truth. Um, depending on what you want to do. I think it's okay if you're used to Firefox and you just like the brand and um, you're doing like general scrolling video here or two. Um, it's fine. Um, it doesn't have a reading list. Oh no, it does. It does have a reading list. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, you can do sync. So it's, it's cool. If you use Firefox already on your Mac, it's cool. If you're replacing your desktop browser, for me, this wouldn't be the one. Uh, performance wise, there's been some issues I've seen just in this test. Um, just with like the scrolling and things not loading. Um, so for me, that wouldn't be the one. I think Safari is definitely superior, um, which kind of comes at no surprise. If you don't want to use Safari, I think Chrome or even Brave is actually better than this as well. Uh, so that's my kind of opinion on that. Uh, I would personally not recommend using the Firefox iPad Pro browser. But look, if you're a fan and you're just using it for general browsing, you won't notice a difference. It's all the same. Um, I particularly also don't really like this big head. Uh, but you know, each their own. If you found this helpful, please like the video, subscribe. I'll be making more videos like this about the iPad and using different software and also the iPad generally. The iPad Pro um, M1 is coming out very soon. I'll be covering that, so if you're interested in that, um, definitely subscribe. There will be a load, load more videos coming out on that subject. And also anything to do with iPad Pro, I'll be covering. And um, yeah, I'm into productivity, design, creativity, and I'll be using the iPad Pro to help me do that. So if you want to follow that journey, please subscribe. It takes a moment for you, but it means the world to me. And I'll catch you in the next one.